Reconciling your bank statements in QuickBooks Online is an essential step in ensuring your books are accurate and up to date. This process helps verify that the transactions recorded in QuickBooks match those on your bank statement, allowing you to identify discrepancies, missing entries, or errors. Maintaining accurate financial records is crucial for tax compliance, financial decision-making, and ensuring your business remains on track. To start, navigate to the Settings menu in the top right corner of your QuickBooks dashboard. From there, select Reconcile. This will bring you to the Reconciliation page, where you'll see a list of accounts eligible for reconciliation, including checking, savings, and credit card accounts. Choose the account you want to reconcile, and QuickBooks will prompt you to enter the beginning balance, ending balance, and statement ending date. It's important to enter these details exactly as they appear on your bank statement. The ending balance should reflect the final amount in your bank account at the end of the statement period. If you enter an incorrect balance, the reconciliation process will not align, making it difficult to match transactions and identify discrepancies. QuickBooks compares this balance with the transactions entered in the system, so any mismatch can lead to errors in your financial records. The statement ending date is just as critical. This date determines the range of transactions QuickBooks will consider for reconciliation. If the date is incorrect, you may end up with missing transactions or extra entries that don't belong in the period you're reconciling. This can make it challenging to verify transactions accurately. For this tutorial, we will enter an ending balance of $1,201.00 and a statement ending date of March 12, 2025, which aligns with the bank records. By ensuring these details are correct, we create a solid foundation for a smooth reconciliation process. Once the correct balance and date are entered, click Start Reconciling. QuickBooks will display a list of all transactions within the selected period. The goal is to match each transaction in QuickBooks with its corresponding entry on the bank statement. This process ensures that every deposit and expense recorded in QuickBooks is backed by a real transaction from the bank. Now that we've entered the correct ending balance and statement ending date, the next step in the reconciliation process is to review and match transactions. QuickBooks will display a list of transactions recorded within the statement period, including payments, deposits, expenses, and transfers. The goal here is to ensure that each transaction in QuickBooks has a corresponding entry on your bank statement. To begin, carefully go through the list of payments and deposits shown in QuickBooks. Transactions are categorized into two main sections, payments, which represent money going out, and deposits, which represent money coming in. Each entry includes the date, type of transaction, payee, account category, and amount. These details should match exactly with the transactions listed on the bank statement. As you compare transactions, mark them as cleared by clicking the check mark next to each one that appears on both QuickBooks and the bank statement. If the transaction details, such as the date, payee, and amount, are identical to what's on the statement, then it's considered successfully reconciled. If there are any differences, such as a missing deposit or an incorrect payment amount, further investigation will be needed before proceeding. One common issue that can arise during reconciliation is encountering uncleared transactions. If a transaction appears in QuickBooks, but not on the bank statement, it could mean that it was recorded, but hasn't actually been processed by the bank yet. Sometimes transactions fall outside the statement period and will appear in the next month's reconciliation. In other cases, there may be a duplicate or incorrect entry that needs to be corrected. To resolve this, it's important to cross-check the transaction date and confirm whether it should be included in this reconciliation or adjusted for the next one. If necessary, QuickBooks allows transactions to be edited, deleted, or excluded until the records match. There may also be cases where a transaction appears on the bank statement but is missing in QuickBooks. In such instances, it's crucial to record the missing transaction manually by selecting Add Transaction or by clicking on the transaction to modify its details. Ensuring that all deposits and payments are accounted for 
keeps the books accurate and fully reconciled. Throughout this process, the difference amount displayed at the top of the reconciliation screen is an important indicator. The goal is to bring this difference to zero, meaning that every transaction in QuickBooks aligns perfectly with the bank statement. If there is any remaining discrepancy, it indicates that a transaction is either missing, duplicated, or incorrectly recorded. Before completing the reconciliation, it's essential to verify every entry and make sure no adjustments are needed. Once all transactions have been reviewed and matched, the final step will be to complete the reconciliation and review the summary report. This ensures that everything is balanced and all financial records are in sync before finalizing the process. Once all transactions have been reviewed and matched, and the difference at the top of the reconciliation screen is showing zero, it's time to complete the reconciliation. This final step confirms that everything in QuickBooks aligns perfectly with the bank statement, ensuring that no transactions are missing or incorrectly recorded. To finalize the reconciliation, click the Finish Now or Done button. QuickBooks will then generate a reconciliation report summarizing all reconciled transactions, including payments, deposits, and any adjustments made during the process. This report is an important record that helps maintain an audit trail and should be saved for future reference. After completing the reconciliation, it's a good practice to review the reconciliation report for any unexpected discrepancies or adjustments. You can access this report by going to the Reports menu and searching for Reconciliation Reports. This will display a list of completed reconciliations, allowing you to open and review any past reconciliations whenever needed. If there are any adjustments, such as manually added transactions or corrections, it's important to understand why they were made. Adjustments should only be used when absolutely necessary, such as for small rounding differences or bank fees that weren't previously recorded. Large or frequent adjustments could indicate underlying issues in transaction recording and may require further investigation. Maintaining consistency in monthly reconciliations is key to keeping financial records accurate. It's best to reconcile bank accounts at the end of each month, right after receiving the latest bank statement. This practice helps catch errors early, prevents discrepancies from accumulating, and ensures that financial reports remain reliable for making informed business decisions. With the reconciliation complete, QuickBooks will now reflect the most accurate financial position of the business. This means that reports such as the profit and loss statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement will provide more meaningful insights helping with budgeting, forecasting, and financial planning. By keeping up with reconciliations regularly, you can maintain a clear and accurate picture of your business's financial health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you're serious about mastering QuickBooks and other accounting tools, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. I post step-by-step -step tutorials to help you streamline your bookkeeping and financial management. Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover next. Your feedback helps me create content that's even more valuable for you.